Have you ever considered a career as an information technology specialist in Australia? Welcome to the Migration HQ YouTube channel. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for the latest content on migration and international education related information on Australian migration. It's a vibrant hub for innovation and technology, making it an ideal place for IT professionals to build their careers. Australia's IT industry is booming, with a diverse range of specializations in high demand, from software engineering and cybersecurity to network engineering and programming. What's more, Australia offers a wealth of opportunities for IT professionals looking to further their education. Universities across the country offer accredited courses that can lead to a path of migration. Whether you're seeking to study or migrate, Australia is a destination that offers IT professionals a mix of lifestyle, career opportunities, and a chance to be at the forefront of technological advancements. Now let's delve into the process of making this a reality. Australia is a hotspot for IT specialists, with a high demand for skills in this sector. In fact, it's like a gold rush for tech enthusiasts, with opportunities abounding in every corner of this vast and varied country. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel for the latest content on migration and international education related information on Australian migration. The Australian labour market has been witnessing a significant surge in demand for IT professionals, particularly in certain specialisations. Software engineering, for instance, is a field where the demand has been skyrocketing. From developing new applications to maintaining existing systems, software engineers are vital to keeping the digital world running smoothly. Cybersecurity is another area where Australia is experiencing a major skill shortage. As the digital landscape expands, so does the threat from cyber attacks. Cybersecurity specialists are, therefore, in high demand to protect Australia's digital infrastructure and ensure the safety of sensitive data. Let's not forget about network engineering. The backbone of our interconnected world, network engineers ensure that communication lines remain open and effective. As more businesses move their operations online, the demand for professionals who can design, implement and manage networks is on the rise. And of course, we can't talk about IT without mentioning programming. The architects of the digital world, programmers are in high demand across all sectors. Whether it's creating websites, developing apps or building software systems, programming skills are highly sought after in the Australian job market. These specializations are not just in demand, they're also on the skill priority list for 2023 skill migration. This means that IT professionals in these fields have a better chance of migrating to Australia. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel for the latest content on migration and international education related information on Australian migration. The IT sector in Australia is not just about having a job, it's about building a rewarding and fulfilling career. With high demand, competitive salaries and a diverse range of roles, the opportunities are endless for those with the right skills and a passion for technology. Knowing the demand, let's explore the pathways to migrate or study in Australia. Australia offers multiple visa options for IT specialists. The land down under is not just famous for its kangaroos and koalas but also for its technologically advanced environment and cutting-edge IT programs. For international scholars dreaming of studying IT in Australia, the student visa, namely the subclass 500, is your golden ticket. This visa allows you to stay in Australia to study full-time in a recognised education institution for up to five years. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel for the latest content on migration and international education related information on Australian migration. Now let's delve into the potential accredited university courses that could pave the way for your skilled migrant visa. Australia is home to some of the world's leading universities, offering a myriad of IT specialisations. From software engineering to cybersecurity, network engineering, programming and more, there's a course tailored to your IT aspirations. These courses are not just designed to equip you with the necessary skills, but also to make you an eligible candidate for the temporary graduate visa, subclass 485. This visa allows international students who have recently graduated from an Australian educational institution to live, study and work in Australia temporarily. Moreover, for IT professionals with adequate work experience, the skilled independent visa, 
subclass 189, and the skilled nominated visa, subclass 190, are potential pathways to make Australia your new home. The Skilled Independent Visa is a points-tested visa for skilled workers who are not sponsored by an employer, a state or territory, or a family member. On the other hand, the Skilled Nominated Visa requires nomination by an Australian state or territory government. Remember, each visa comes with its own set of criteria and obligations. It's essential to understand the prerequisites and the process involved in applying. Seek advice from a registered migration agent or the Department of Home Affairs to ensure you choose the right visa option for your circumstances. With the right visa, your Australian IT journey can begin. So, pack your bags, gear up for a world-class education, and get ready to explore the boundless opportunities that await you in the Australian IT sector. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel for the latest content on migration and international education related information on Australian migration. Life as a student in Australia is an experience unlike any other. When it comes to accommodation, there's a variety of options to consider. Many international students opt for on-campus housing, which is a great way to immerse yourself in the university environment. These accommodations often provide easy access to libraries, lecture halls and other campus facilities not to mention the opportunity to foster a close-knit community with your peers. Alternatively, off-campus housing provides an opportunity to experience Australian life beyond the university. Apartments, share houses, and homestay options are popular choices. Each comes with its unique benefits, whether it's the independence of an apartment, the camaraderie of a share house, or the cultural immersion of a homestay. It's about finding the right fit for your lifestyle and budget. And let's not forget, part-time work is a common aspect of student life in Australia. International students on a student visa are permitted to work up to 40 hours per fortnight during the academic year, providing a fantastic way to earn some extra cash while studying. Part-time jobs can range from retail and hospitality roles to internships that align with your field of study. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel for the latest content on migration and international education related information on Australian migration. This not only helps with living expenses, but also provides valuable work experience and a chance to develop your English language skills in a practical setting. Moreover, working while studying can help pave the way for future career opportunities. Many employers value the balance of work and study, viewing it as a sign of initiative and time management. So don't hesitate to take advantage of these opportunities. But remember, studying in Australia is not only about academics and work. It's about embracing a whole new way of life. From exploring the country's stunning landscapes, enjoying its vibrant cities, participating in university clubs and societies, to making lifelong friendships, there's so much to discover. Studying in Australia isn't just about academics. It's about experiencing a new culture and lifestyle. So take the plunge, embrace the adventure, and you'll find that student life in Australia is a journey worth embarking on. Australia offers competitive pay scales for IT specialists. Let's delve into that a bit further, shall we? On average, an IT specialist in Australia can expect to earn around 75,000 Australian dollars per year. Of course, this figure can vary depending on experience, skills, and the specific IT focus. For instance, software engineers can potentially earn up to $90,000 annually, while cybersecurity experts may command about $85,000. Network engineers and programmers, on the other hand, typically earn between seventy dollars and $80,000 a year. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for the latest content on migration and international education-related information on Australian migration. It's important to note that these figures are averages, and the actual salaries can be higher or lower. For instance, a highly experienced IT specialist with in-demand skills can earn well into the six-figure range. Now, Let's turn our attention to the states with the highest demand for IT specialists. New South Wales leads the pack, with Sydney being a major hub for IT companies and startups. The average IT salary in Sydney is around $85,000 per year. Victoria, particularly Melbourne, is another hotspot for IT jobs. The city boasts a thriving tech scene and offers an average IT salary of about $80,000 per year. Queensland and Western Australia also have strong IT sectors. Brisbane and Perth in particular are home to a growing number of IT companies. 
an IT specialist in these cities can expect to earn between $75,000 and $80,000 per year on average. So, what does this all mean? Well, the prospects are bright for IT specialists in Australia. The country's tech industry is booming and there's a strong demand for skilled IT professionals. Plus, the salaries are competitive, which makes a career in IT both rewarding and lucrative. So, if you're an IT specialist considering your options, Australia could be a great choice for you. The country offers a dynamic tech scene, a high standard of living, and a competitive pay scale. In Australia, IT specialists can expect a rewarding career. English proficiency is a key requirement for migration to Australia. So, let's delve into the specifics of the English language requirements for IT professionals seeking to migrate to Australia. There are two main English language tests recognised by the Australian Government. The International English Language Testing System, or EELTS, and the Pearson Test of English, or PTE. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel for the latest content on migration and international education related information on Australian migration. Both are globally recognised and assess four key language skills. Listening, reading, writing and speaking. For the EELTS, a band score of 7 in each component is generally the minimum requirement. This translates to a competent level of English, wherein you have operational command of the language with occasional inaccuracies and misunderstandings. If you're taking the PTE, a score of 65 in each component is comparable to an ILTS band score of 7. This score suggests that you can handle complex language well and understand detailed reasoning. Remember, these are the minimum requirements. Scoring higher than these thresholds can earn you additional points on your visa application, making you a more attractive candidate for migration. It's also worth noting that these scores are not just a visa requirement. They are indicative of the level of English proficiency you'll need to succeed in an IT career in Australia. Working in IT involves complex problem-solving, collaboration, and often explaining technical concepts to non-technical people. All these tasks require strong communication skills. If you're in a role like software engineering or cybersecurity, you'll be writing code, reading technical documents, and perhaps even drafting reports. And it's not just about surviving in the workplace. Living in Australia, you'll be part of a community. You'll need English to interact with your neighbours, to understand news and local culture, to be part of the social fabric. So while preparing for your migration, make sure you prioritise your English language preparation. There are numerous resources available online and in person to help you achieve the scores you need. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel for the latest content on migration and international education related information on Australian migration. In conclusion, working on your English proficiency is not just about passing a test. It's about equipping yourself with the skills you need to thrive in your new home. English proficiency can open the doors to a successful IT career in Australia. Applying for a visa can be a straightforward process with the right guidance. Let's break down the application process for both student visas and skilled migration visas for IT specialists in Australia. It's all about clarity, precision, and most importantly, patience. For student visas, first things first, you need to secure admission in a registered full-time course in Australia. Once you receive your electronic confirmation of enrollment, ECOE, you can get started with your visa application. Make sure you meet the genuine temporary entrant requirement, which essentially means that you're genuinely looking to study in Australia and not merely using the student visa as a means to stay in the country. Then it's time to prepare your documents. These typically include your ECOE, proof of sufficient funds, English proficiency test results, and health insurance coverage, among others. Once your documents are ready, you can apply online for your student visa. After applying, you may be asked to attend an interview or provide additional documentation. Now, if you're an IT professional looking to migrate to Australia, you'd likely be applying for a skilled migration visa. This process starts with checking if your occupation is on the skilled occupation list, as this is a prerequisite for this visa type. If your occupation is listed, then you can proceed to submit an expression of interest through Skill Select, which is an online system that manages Australia's skilled migration program. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel for the latest content on migration and international education related information on Australian migration. Just like the student visa, 
you'll need to prepare a range of documents, including proof of your skills and qualifications, English proficiency test results, and work experience. It's also essential to complete a skills assessment with a relevant assessing authority. If your expression of interest is successful, you'll be invited to apply for the visa. Remember, the visa application process can be complex and time-consuming, but don't let that deter you. With careful planning and preparation, you can navigate through it smoothly. With a successful visa application, your Australian IT career is just around the corner. Australia offers a wealth of opportunities for IT specialists. This statement is as true now as it was when we began our journey through this video. We've delved into the high demand for IT specialists down under, a testament to the country's commitment to digital innovation and the modernization of its industries. The areas of software engineering, cybersecurity, network engineering, programming, and other IT specializations are particularly ripe with potential. The pathway to Australia isn't just about professional opportunities. It's also about the experience of studying in a diverse and globally recognized educational environment. We've explored the student visa options and the accredited university courses that can lead to a skilled migrant visa. Let's not forget the vibrant student life that awaits, complete with a variety of accommodation options and part-time work opportunities to help you balance your studies and living expenses. Of course, a career in IT isn't just about the work you do. It's also about the rewards you reap. We've looked at the attractive pay scales for IT specialists in Australia, with the most demand in states like New South Wales, Victoria and Queensland. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel for the latest content on migration and international education related information on Australian migration. These regions are not just technology hubs, but also offer a high standard of living and plenty of lifestyle perks. English language requirements are a crucial part of the migration process. We've discussed the ILTS and PTE tests and the band requirements for permanent residency. These tests are not just a visa requirement, but also a stepping stone to integrating into the Australian society and its workforce. The visa application process may seem daunting, but we've broken it down for you, from choosing the right visa to fulfilling the criteria and submitting your application. Whether you're applying for a student visa or a skilled migration visa, the process is straightforward and transparent. Now that you're equipped with this knowledge, the path to an IT career in Australia is clear. Start your journey today. With determination, preparation and the right guidance, you can seize the opportunities that await in the land down under. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel for the latest content on migration and international education related information on Australian migration.